Hello. Now here we'll try to write an equation from a given situation and these are real life situations, correct? You can go over a field and notice and then you can find equation of the projectile motion of a ball kicked from the ground. It's something like that, okay? Now let's look at the problem. A ball kicked off the ground goes just over a one meter fence at a distance of 10 meter then drops 5 meter further away. Wow! So that's the problem and we need to find equation to represent the ball's height above the ground. Okay, so I've not mentioned that but that's what we are trying to find out. So read the problem once again. A ball is kicked off the ground. So now let me make a kind of a figure to see what we are trying to do. So what we are trying to do here is that the ball is kicked off the ground. So it is on the ground initially over a 1 meter fence at a distance of 10 meters and drops. So, well, let's draw. If a ball is kicked, it will go something like this. Is that okay? Yeah. Now, if a ball is kicked off the ground, goes over a 1 meter fence at a distance of 10 meters and then drops 5 meters. That means it draws 5 meters and from here we have a fence, right? And this fence is 10 meters from this point. Does it make sense? So this is like 10 meters from less than 0, 0. Then let me write 10 here, right? And this is 5 meters away. So I will write 10 and 5. And this is 5 meters away. So I can write this as 5. Does it make sense? Now I think the problem becomes much, much simpler than what it sounded, right? One simple statement, it could be held for us. A ball kicked off the ground goes just over one meter fence so that means the height of this fence is one meter, right? So let me write this height is one meter. That means this coordinate is what? At x equals to 10, we have height of one meter. Is that okay? So that's the coordinate on this parabola. It helps. Now it makes more sense, right? So basically we have to find this path of a parabola where two x-intercepts are given, which are at 0 and 15, and a point at 10, 1. Now it's very simple, do you understand? But the main thing is to first visualize. So we have here um, distance, right? So we said distance in meters, correct? On this side. And on this side, what we're trying to write is height as a function of distance here, right? As a function of distance, and this is also in meters, correct? Now, so that's kind of an equation we're looking for. Ball is kicked from here goes over a fence which is 10 meters away and the height of the fence is 1 meter just goes goes by and drops 5 meter further do you see that so that's the point so now if we look into it there are two x intercepts one at 0 and the other one is 15 therefore i could write this function hd as a times so we have to find what a is correct but the family of the curve, we have x as the first intercept and the second one is x minus 15, correct? So that's our equation, it's a quadratic function. When you multiply x with x, we get x squared, correct? Now, to find the value of a, we will use this point. At a distance of 10 meters, fence of 1 meter high is crossed, correct? So we'll write x as 10 and y as 1 and find a, so simple. So height is 1. So, see, 1 here equals to a times, and x is 10, 10 times 10 minus 15, correct? Which means 10 times 10 minus 15 is minus 5. So, we have minus 50a is equals to 1, correct? So, that is what it is. Five meters away, right? It makes sense. So what is A equals to? So A equals to from here one over fifty, right? Minus, correct? Is the value for A, correct? Now if we know that, then we can write H D as H D as equal to I'll put A as minus one over fifty. This is for A times x times x 
minus 15. Does it make sense? I think it does. And that is our equation, correct? So this is a way to write down an equation of a given situation. It's a very, very important application. Have a close look at it, okay? It's a very, very important application. And this is how most of the questions can be solved, correct? So you understand the concept. Here we are. We kick the ball at this point. The distance is zero. Right? That's our reference frame. And it crosses a fence which is 10 meters away, one meter high. So it just crosses. So we are assuming this point, 10 comma 1, on our parabolic path of the ball. And it drops 5 meters away. So ultimately that distance will be 10 plus 5, which is 15. So if we draw this, we see that for this parabolic path, there are two x-intercepts. One at 0, the other one is at 15. So that gives us x and x minus 15. Do you get it? And to find this becomes a family of graph. There could be many parabolas going like this, right? There could be many parabolas, right? But the one specific we are talking about has this point 10 comma 1 on it. So by using this value 10 for x and 1 for y, we calculate 10 for x and 1 for y, which is h of d, we calculate the value of a which turned out to be negative 1 over 50. Negative made sense because our parabola is opening downwards. Do you see that? That's how we actually find the height or equation from a given situation. Now, once we have this function, we can find what was the height when time was 5, what was the height when time was 3, anything like that, right? What was the maximum height? Can you tell me? Let it be a problem for you. What was the maximum height? Maximum height will be at, you have to find midway between the two, correct? Which will be somewhere here. This plus this divided by 2, right? That is at t equals to, d equals to 7.5. When you plug it in here, you can calculate, correct? In meters. That's how it is going to be, correct? I hope you enjoyed the whole process of writing an equation from a given situation, correct? Have a good look at it. Go through the video. Try to understand. And then there will be many problems for you wish to solve in this fashion. Thank you. Enjoy.